So David, we came of age where just before us, there were the observers and the theorists. And the theorists, you give them a pencil and a pad, and the observers would go off to telescopes. And then the power of computing became manifest to both branches of our field. And the theorists started using computers. Mm -hmm. And those computers have gotten more and more powerful. So we can now do detailed simulations of how stars form, how they evolve, how they explode. So they're not just comp you're not just computing formulas. You are running simulations of the universe on timescales that we don't live long enough to see. Wow. And you can do it on the computer. That's a mess. See, that's awesome. No, it is. I it love is. that. You know what happened in our lifetime? I got to tell it. Let me tell the story. Just in the generation before us, there was a very important observer, Chip Arp was okay. his name. Uh, Halton Arp is his full name. And he compiled a volume of galaxies that just looked weird. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it was called the Atlas of Peculiar Galaxies. Cool. And they were a trove of, if you wanted to study things that were just different. Right. From the north, you, you pick objects out of that catalog and bring a different kind of telescope to it. Right. So, but no one knew how they came to be. What are these things? Is this a new kind of formation process in the universe? Because they're all just weird. Oddly shaped. Galaxy. Oddly shaped.